Hello my friends, welcome back and thank you so so much for tuning in. If you're new here, my name is Jen and I love all things color. We talk about makeup, skincare and my favorite topic, sunscreens. I love to just try sunscreen out. I know you'd see my, I do have a playlist um, dedicated, like 99% of them are physical sunscreens. You'd find like hybrids and one or two chemical sunscreens here and there, but it's mostly physical sunscreen. I love physical sunscreens, and but the downside is a lot of them leave a cast on darker skin tone. So I love them. And as, as much as all the sunscreens I've tried, I actually use them up, to be honest. I like constantly reapply them and use them up thoroughly so i'm always buying sunscreens i'm always in the market so if you're uh also in the market and you should be to be honest everybody needs a sunscreen uh and i have to say if you're not wearing sunscreen that much i think you haven't found your favorite one that's the well, hang on there's something going on all right I think you haven't found your favorite sunscreen. That's the only issue because sunscreen, believe me, if you find your favorite sunscreen, keep using it and it's it'll just transform your skin. Like it'll just, it's, it'll turn it upside down. I'm telling you, like for the better, not for the worse. So anyways, guys, uh, we have a brand new, and so I will leave that uh, playlist down below if you're in the market for sunscreens. And if you love these kinds of content, definitely consider giving this video a thumbs up because we're going to be doing a demo and then talk about pros and cons about this product and do also arm swatches. So definitely subscribe also if you haven't already. So the brand we're talking about today, sunscreen, is called St. Jane Luxury Sun Ritual yeah it has flowers and it has black and gold i so I, i've never tried this and it says uh desert so i'm assuming these are its star ingredients desert rose hibiscus and jasmine so broad spectrum very good that's what we want spf 30 and then pore smoothing sunscreen it says here pore smoothing sunscreen but i'm positive this is marketed as like a primer I saw that somewhere I'm not sure I believe on Sephora's product page I'm positive I saw this is marketed as a primer and uh, it says our sheer invisible texture melts into the skin beautifully blurring the looks of pores desert rose hibiscus there are three like star ingredients right desert rose hibiscus and jasmine visibly smooth sensitive and blemish prone complexions and it is mineral based. It's a hundred percent mineral sunscreen, and it says ultra clean. These words people just throw throw about here and there. Nobody knows what it really means, to be honest. So don't fall for clean, organic, uh, all those stuff. Just look at the ingredients yourself, right? So the active ingredient is zinc oxide, hundred percent zinc oxide, which I'm very very happy about. And it is 10%. And then inactive ingredients, you have like a list of all the you know. Uh, it's marked as a primer. There's dime at the cone. Let's, I think that's like the fourth ingredient. And you do have, I see jasmine extract, uh, hibiscus flower extract, and desert rose. So these are the thing. And also, you also see green tea leaf oil as well. So uh, this product does have a strong fragrance. I don't like uh, fragrance in sunscreens or any kind of these harsh ingredients in sunscreens be just because you are supposed to reapply sunscreen at least twice, like more than once a day, right? You're supposed to reapply and to put those ingredients over and over and, and every single day. And I'm someone who wears sunscreen whether I'm inside or outside, right? It's like almost part of my morning skincare routine. So moisturizer and then I put sunscreen on anyway. So to put this, uh, I don't know, fragrance and not not about this product, but in general, that's kind of like my um, ideology about skincare, about sunscreens. I don't want to put this over and over again. So anyways, guys, this retails for $38. It's a brand new product. And let me quickly see where this is made. Uh, I don't see it exactly. There's a lot of in information here. It only says distributed. Mm, it has like address. It doesn't exist. Let me see if it says here. Made in the USA. Okay, it says here in the product. So let's quickly talk about the packaging. Very pretty white flowers. I think these are the 
desert rose and all those those three ingredients and then it says saint jane what caught my eye is they had used a model who had very very rich skin tone richer than mine for sunscreens usually i don't see models unless the brand is saying any literally everybody can use it right so i was very happy about that so i went ahead and bought it and it's vegan reef safe mineral and clean so yeah let's do a quick swatch on the arm and then let's quickly head on to the um demo part and how you can see how what it looks like and then well, let's talk pros and cons so as you can see it's not liquid it's not liquid it's actually like a it looks like a toothpaste it's a cream basically it's like an it's like a proper cream right and look at that very happy about it <laughs> Yeah. and as you can see it's not overly shiny right it just looks like a sat it gives it gives a satin finish satin finish and you don't really see a lot of streaks to be honest so that is pretty much that is very very um impressive arm swatch let's head over to the demo part of the video all right guys let's see what this looks like on my skin uh getting it out let's see right now on my face i have just serum moisturizer that's it i do have i did do my brows but otherwise nothing else on my skin so it's just plain bare skin just putting some on my cheeks let's see very elegant right just goes on so elegantly and no problem at all and this is completely zinc so i believe the formulation i mean must is a little genius not gonna lie no tint well it does kind of have a tint as you can see but it's like barely there not like a tint that would you know like get stain your clothes not like that at all it's nice and thick it's actually a cream more like a, than a liquid as you can see but it's not pasty at all and as you, you guys see that I covered my cheeks with this not it wasn't like barely there it's definitely a saturated way let's not forget the top of the nose sorry the top of the lip So I forget the lid since I don't have any makeup today I can definitely put that on the lid and that kind of like went that's pretty smooth I would say right now I don't really like experience any irritation so I can definitely put it there okay see it's a little streaky are you able to see i'm not sure but just like the very 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 little streaks it's not like a serum as you guys see it's like nice and thick cream but not like a toothpaste consistency it actually really really melts into the skin super quick to be honest it's no problem at all it's a very elegant sunscreen i'm not gonna lie especially for uh when you see the consistency initially you'll be you at least that's what i assumed it's gonna be like nice and like pasty is it gonna like uh streak is it gonna like pill uh but yeah so that is it i'm gonna quickly set my face with powder and i will be right back all right i am back i know i said i'm gonna quickly set my face with powder but that's not what transpired you can see i have blush highlighter i kind of i started with one thing and then i just went all in i am wearing my just my favorite mascara it's from tartlet it's the tubing mascara it's really 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 good very minimal effort but look at those long lashes and then for cheeks i have my absolute favorite still uh, laura mercier's tinted moisture blush in sun drenched so pretty then pat mcgrath's these old 
these are really really old the name everything is just like rubbed off this is that gold cream highlighter that's what i have on my cheeks then I set my face all together with the Hourglass Powder. I haven't used this in so long since I started the Laura Geller's uh, Baked Powders. But the, this is, I love it. I really do. I will absolutely repurchase. And then for the lips, I have my absolute favorite liquid lip, transfer proof liquid lipstick at the moment. It's not at the moment. I think this is really, really good. Hands down, period. Like, I don't think... I would like something that is something else yeah this is in the shade once strangers a very very rich coffee brown very 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 rich i love it so that is it let's talk pros and cons guys because i do have some cons for this firstly it doesn't say fr fragrance it's not at least it's not dis disclosed here in the box maybe i'm missing some uh, some ingredients but in the inactive ingredients i don't see fragrance but i do see all this like we like i said it has like fruit i mean sorry flower extract so maybe it's just a natural fragrance but still those things can be kind of irritating to some people so i think that's a downside even if it doesn't irritate right away it might irritate in the long run just because this is not a one-off product that you just use it's not like a blush that may, that you might use like once a week or once a month you know like i think makeup junkies would understand that because you have so many blushes you might probably use it like once or twice a year <laughs> but this is a sunscreen and it's something that you are supposed to reapply right and uh more than once a day at least i would say so when you keep like putting that fragrance or um, essential oils it doesn't say essential oils either it just says uh those fruit egg, uh, fr uh, sorry flower extracts right so uh as you put it it can kind of all those irritations can kind of sneak up on you and snowball into an allergy or something it happens it really does when it happens you'll be like clueless what what's happening why is this happening so it's happened to me so i'm just like just fyi so that's something uh on i, I would say is like the, uh, the downside for this product on the upside it is so elegant it is so 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 good it doesn't really streak and because it's a primer it's really really good yeah like i just set my face with it i didn't i don't wear foundation or concealer so i i'm not i, I didn't really show it to you all i did was just uh use a big fluffy brush and just like dust this powder hourglass powder all over my face so you can see hyperpigmentation right it, no coverage or anything so it goes on really well i put like um blush and highlighter on it did not pill S talking of pilling or speaking of pilling uh when i was playing around with it it didn't pill on my face but um it was more like a one-off case i experienced pilling in the on the eyelids and under eye i'm not sure why or maybe the moisturizer that i use under the eye i didn't maybe blend it out properly it was just like sitting on top of my skin i'm not sure why but i just i think it's more of a one-off case but i just wanted to let you guys know i did experience peeling but not on the face or neck or wherever i applied it but just under the eye it was more like a one-off case so there's that and then um good thing is 100 percent uh mineral sunscreen right and it's uh 10% uh, zinc oxide. Zinc is definitely more effective in, in um, protecting your skin from UVA and UVB more than titanium dioxide. Titanium dioxide is more, not as effective as zinc, especially when it comes to UVA rays, right? So I'm very happy they use zinc oxide 10% and it's 100% mineral sunscreen. And uh, I really wish it was like higher SPF. It's SPF 30, definitely sufficient uh but i really wish it was a higher spf and yeah that's it i would say the only downside is spf lower spf and then the little fragrance not little it's i you're able to smell it really really well so just over applying and putting it under your eye on your lids and your face over and over again that's something that i'm not very okay with to be honest something filled with fragrance whether artificial or natural fragrance in general is not very beneficial to your skin so that's the only concern for me 
otherwise i really 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 like the sunscreen it's such an elegant sunscreen guys it's so thick it's like it looks like a paste like almost the kind of, it looks like a toothpaste right but it blends so seamlessly to the skin hardly any streaks i love it i when i was playing around with this i did put this on my face and go out without setting my face nothing i just put this on my face no set in, i didn't set uh, my face didn't wear any makeup and i was very confident about the way my skin looked i wasn't like cowering i wasn't like doing this or wearing a hat to cover all the ashiness and nothing of all the streakiness nothing of that stuff it was perfect so all in all it's a thumbs up for me there is a little bit of cons it's more for me you know i'm overly cautious and um you know fragrance is not something i like to incorporate in my skincare in any way so that's something that i don't like so otherwise yeah i do like it so no oh wait biggest pro is that no white cast right that's the yes if you, if your question is only does it leave a white cast or not it's a no it doesn't leave a white cast at all so yay for that so yeah I really hope this uh, video helped you guys make a decision if you're uh, wondering whether you uh, this works on darker skin or not and all the other information surrounding that and the ingredients and everything. I really hope the, this video was helpful. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked watching it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.